so sorry, Steve, I just burped. Action! Hey guys, it's me, Kalani. Hey everyone, it's Chloe. Hey guys, it's Paige. Hey guys, it's Kendall. Hi guys, it's Brooke. Hey everyone, I'm Jojo, and we are looking back at some of the most memorable special guests from the show. There are a lot of differences between Abby and Miss Gibson. She would hate her because she's done everything that Abby aspires and wants to do, but she actually does it. There is a new chick in town. Her name is Miss Gibson. Five, six, seven, eight. Whom you want to hinge? Bring it up. Yes. So this is king two. It was really cool having Lorianne Gibson on our team. She is more of a commercial dance teacher. We were so excited to have a fresh start with a new choreographer, and we knew Abby wasn't going to be happy, but we were up for the challenge. Pump, no. Where are the eyes in the ceiling? Pull, come to me, fight me. Whew, I'm her. Once you know what the movement is, then the attention becomes, yeah? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. No, it's too soft, right? Five, six, seven, eight. One, whew, ha. Are you lazy? Is she lazy? Is she lazy? Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. You can't just go off of your looks. Lazy doesn't get you number one. What are you feeling? Just try to tell me. Because I'm OK if you're even going to say I'm uncomfortable with you. I don't like you. I, I want Abby back. I'm scared. Because you're an A-list choreographer, and now I don't want you to think I'm lazy. Because I want to be a star. Say this, you called me lazy. You called me lazy. And? I'm not lazy, I'm a hard worker. Wow, that was definitely an uncomfortable moment for me. I think she's pushing me to where I needed to be pushed, not pushed aside or pushed in the corner or pushed behind other dancers. She saw that we were just going through the motions and you can't let your guard down. The second you let your guard down, someone's gonna swoop in and take your spot. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Hey, do you remember working with the guest choreographer before this? I do remember working with Ricky. I'm excited to have a solo, but I've never really worked with Ricky before. He's really nice and the choreography is great, but it's still all new to me, so I'm a little bit nervous of how it's going to turn out. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'll see you later, darling. Okay. Hey, how's it going? We finished the dance, but. Oh, good! And he said, just focus on your dance, don't worry about it. Isn't that nice? I can't wait to see this. It's a lot easier good. to learn because instead wait, of do doing it? something wrong, he won't be like, you're stupid. When he does something wrong, he's like this. And then when I do it right, he's like, great job, Paige. I like positive, that. positive. I think it was so different working with someone who was so positive because I was just not used to that at all. And it was such a weird feeling. I also was a little bit stressed because I had to learn my dance in a super short amount of time and he didn't know me or my dance moves. So I felt like it's hard working with a choreographer that you're not used to because he doesn't know your abilities and your strengths and stuff. So it was definitely hard to do super fast, but I was excited to have a new challenge and a new opportunity. Nice. <laughs> Nia's off balance. Chloe is just walking through it. Cameron looks like she can care less. So it's an emotional roller coaster right now, we're, what we're going through. Hello. Cheryl Burke's our girl. I feel like one of my favorite special guests was Cheryl Burke, just because I love Dancing with the Stars and I love her. So being able to have her come in and teach us was really awesome. I'm so excited to be here. I'm Cheryl. You know me from Dancing with the Stars and on television, but what you don't know is my history as a ballroom dancer and a competitive ballroom dancer. So it was Nia, Kendall, Kalani, Cameron, and me, and we had our dance teacher, Cheryl Berg, and we just were like, you know what, out with the old, let's forge our new path, and we did. I've traveled the world. You know, I started at age 13. This was my life. I was like a mini Olympian, you know, just going out there and doing what I love to do and competing all over the world. I think she really gave a positive spin 
on our lives as being a little bit older and still dancing. And she was just really, really sweet and a breath of fresh air, something we needed after the whole Abby drama. I just want you to know that I'm very confident in all of you. OK, let's get to work. She was the most positive, beautiful, talented dance teacher we probably have ever had. And she just wanted us to feel our best. That was something we've never had before. Walking into the dance studio with these girls, I see them very insecure. I think the whole social media circus surrounding this team in Abby is, it's a lot. They're not focused. My frustration is coming from the fact that I feel like every single person on this team has given up. Moms, girls, get in. I know that these girls have so much potential. You know, I've been a part of the dancing business industry for years and years and years. And it's like, I'm known to get the best out of whoever I'm teaching. And in order for me to improve their dance, they've got to let that wall down. You guys are all different in what you do. You guys are all individuals. Each and every one of you brings something so special to this team. And you have to realize that, and you have to know your strength. And I want you to really take what I'm saying and and use it because it's what you do in here that counts. Chloe, I feel your insecurity. So you have to believe in yourself because I believe in you. You are so talented. You really are. I think Kendall also maybe suffers from that as well. I know she suffers from it, but she has to break down that wall. And you've got to show her, as your as her mom, that it's OK to be vulnerable. Because that's the only way that, that she's going to become a better dancer. It hurts me, sorry, to hear you say how insecure my child is. I'm telling you how, you know, I'm insecure still. It feels like we failed as how moms. How could I let that happen? That's what you're feeling. But you I, haven't I, failed, because you're going to help her put the pieces back together. I think everything that Cheryl said was right. Dancing with Abby for that long, getting negative reinforcement gave us more insecurities than we will probably ever be able to discover. And it's really sad because we kept them in and we didn't talk about them and we tried so hard not to show them and it's just something that I'm gonna have to deal with. Not wanting to deal with, but comes with the years of dancing. Ah, oh, so cute, yes! <laughs> that's one! <laughs> oh, that's good. All I want to do is jump in the rehearsal and do what we have to do with the understanding that we have a little respect for each other. Because right now, I'm not getting it. And I'm a little frustrated, I'm irritated, and all I want to do is dance. Aisha came in for a week and coached us, and to say the least, it was a little interesting. This song is like super sexy and sultry and, you know, very burlesque feeling because I know that you guys are still kind of young. Are you guys kind of like getting into boys and things now? Yeah. yeah. Well, don't. Boys, boys, boys. Boom, 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 boom. You're not a kid anymore. I think our girls have to prove not only to themselves or to the world, but to Abby, like, we can be successful standing on our own. That is huge. Now that's a woman. Twist more. Yes. Working with Aisha was definitely very different from working with Cheryl. She was more hard hitting. She was more straight to the point, wanted us to be sexy and show more sultry. And since we were older, we loved it. She wasn't as empowering as Cheryl was. Cheryl really stepped inside of our minds almost and told us that we were insecure. Aisha basically wanted us to just put ourselves out there and do a sexy dance. <laughs> Today, Ms. Abby invited me in here to tell you guys a little bit about performance art, about being sickening, and about really working it when you're out there, right? Our kids are fascinated with La Quifa. It could be Santa Claus that walked in that door, and I don't think she would have got, or he would have gotten a better reaction than La Quifa. I have a visitor coming to see us, and she knows everything about working that stage. Let's all welcome La Quifa. Yeah. 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 
postmodern Pepper. La Cuifa for the postmodern Pepper. They call me La Cuifa for the postmodern Pepper. La Cuifa. What? La Cuifa. And she was like, La Cuifa. What? La Cuifa. What? <laughs> I was speechless. It was quite a moment, and it was quite an entrance. I have never seen a drag queen before. <laughs> that was from season one. I was a baby. Well, hi, everyone. My name is Shangela. Today, Miss Abby invited me in here to tell you guys a little bit about performance art, about being sickening, and about really working it when you're out there, right? Our kids are fascinated with La Quifa. It could be Santa Claus that walked in that door, and I don't think she would have got, or he would have gotten a better reaction than La Quifa. Maybe I can teach you guys the death trouble. <gasps> yeah. When Shangela came in, I remember being so excited. That was the first drag queen I think we had ever seen in person, and I was so excited. And that was the day that Nia learned the iconic death drop that she is queen at. So Nia, on the ending, we're gonna put that trick in there, okay? And let me tell you something. The crowd is going to go wild. So we're gonna come up, you go, do your hip, 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 and then wipe, and then death drop, pow. Yes! Now, instead of falling just here first and then laying, try just releasing and going straight back, okay? They're gonna say, oh my lord, what does she do? You feel good? You ready, I know you know. 